Hello, I'm Karen Launchbaugh, Professor of Rangeland Ecology, and I'm also the Superintendent of the Environment and Natural Resources, CDE, which will be happening right here uh, in the Moscow area and on campus on Thursday, June 9th. I look forward to working with you on to give you a few details of what this event might look like. Okay, we'll begin on the east patio of the College of Natural Resources building, CNR. It's right on 6th Street, just east of the Ag buildings. And we're going to be up on that uh, patio. That's where we'll line up at 12 and be ready to go at 12.30. Uh, if you're a little bit unfamiliar with the water quality or if students want to check their GPS units, I'll have crew up here at 11.30 to noon so they can see what the water quality looks like and they can check their GPS. I remember in this event there's two sections that happen on campus and three sections that happen in the field. We'll start the event, we'll divide students in half, half will go to the field, half will stay on campus, and then a midway through the folks from the field will come to campus and those on campus will head to the field. So I'm going to walk through these five different practicums. Okay, before I get started, I'm going to recommend that if you haven't done it, you should go to the um, website for this event, which is envirocide.wordpress.com. Kind of complicated, envirocide.wordpress.com. It's a site that I maintain to make sure that you know uh, what's happening, what information I have. There's quite a few tips. There's old tests that you can take a look at. There's um, examples of rubrics that we'll use during the event. And there's information from the web that hopefully will be uh, informative. So make sure to go to that website, go under event info and study uh, for some details. Okay, let's start with the um, parts of the event that happen on campus. First, we have a written exam. It's 15 questions, multiple choice. You'll see examples of all the tests that I've had in the past. Most of the questions will come off of past tests, and I'll uh, add about 20 or so new ones that might be variations of old questions, but they're all about the environment uh, that we live in and some quite a bit about forestry and rangeland and wildlife since that's the focus of this event. There's also down uh, in one of the rooms in the CNR building, I'll have um, animal skins and uh, stuffed animals and equipment and uh, bones and skulls of animals and, uh, and plants, there'll also be plants of items that you can identify. Remember that there's an exam, there's a list of identification material. Again, you can find that in the um, CDE guidelines or on the web. 30 items, both of those, both the written exam and the items uh, take 30 minutes to complete. They're just in different rooms here in the CNR building. Out in the field, we will look at the uh, environmental analysis first. The site could be an upland site or it could be a riparian site. It could be a forested site or a prairie. And uh, students will have a chance to look at this area, the kind of a roped off area, walk around it. Um, I'll make it so they can see inside. And they can't step inside, but they can see inside. And then they have five questions that they need to answer, they need to address in the exam. And those are um, to identify and list as many organisms as they can, both native and invaders. Um, and then anything they can see inside the boundary. The other, next question is to identify and list all non-living components that they're found in the marked site. They also have to draw a food web presented at the marked site. Um, they identify the stages of succession for various plant communities. And then they identify whether it's in a healthy balance and if they have any recommendations for remediation. Uh, guidelines on how to handle those different sections are given on the website. I've also given some examples of what a, a good analysis, analysis might look like. Also in the field, students will try their GPS locations out, their GPS units. If you have your own units, uh, just make sure they're set to the d datum NAD83. Uh, we will be uh, giving units in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Uh, so latitude and longitude, longitude uh, north and west. So make sure that the units are set correctly. Uh, then students will get a GPS uh, score sheet that will have uh, locations uh, with points in Latin lawn. And they have to, they also have a map, but the map doesn't do much for them. They just have to go out and look for a point uh, that is related to the GPS location. And then they write the number on the flag at that point. So there's, I'll put 10 or 15 flags out. They'll navigate to that point and write what flag they see there. If, you ha if your um, students 
um, are going to share GPS units, that's fine. It's just that when they get done with the unit, they have to show the proctor that they've removed any waypoints. So they have to actually, the proctor actually has to see them remove the waypoints. I also have about a dozen uh, GPS units here on campus, like the one that's uh, in this slide. Uh, if you come to the session early, if you have students who haven't used GPS before, I have a grad student who's going to show them how to use the GPS units that I have. Also, as much as we can, we'll help students make sure they've got the right NAD and the right uh, display of units. I will have a spot on the patio where students can turn their unit on, check to see what spot they think they're at, and make sure that it's the, the numbers that are displayed on the um, on the spot on the patio. So it's a way to just check to see if they really if their units are reading the same as ours. The other thing and probably the most complicated thing is the water analysis. This is complicated only because we do it every other year. Uh, so at the field site we will have a body of water. We'll take a bucket of water and put it on a table. Uh, we'll measure three things, uh, four things, pH, dissolved oxygen, nitrates, and temperature. pH will be measured with a handheld pH meter that will be on the table. Students will just stick that in, make sure it's on, and read the pH, write it on their score sheet. Dissolved oxygen is also a handheld unit. Again, they'll just turn it on, put it in their um, bucket, in their uh, container of water, and make sure, and write the reading down. The nitrates will be done with um, a Hawk um, nitrate kit. Uh, there's eight steps to it. We'll have the instructions there about how to fall through the steps. Basically, they put water in one tube, they put um, water in another tube, add a reagent, then they compare the color of the two reagents. There's a dial on that black tube holder, and they just compare the color. Again, if students come to the CNR patio at um, 1130, we'll have a demonstration of that, and they'll have a chance to see the equipment. Uh, then temperature is pretty simple. It's just a alcohol thermometer, put it in their container, see what, their, what the temperature is. We will also uh, continually refresh the water so that the temperature should be consistent between groups. Okay, so that's it. I really look forward to seeing you uh, out here on campus. I hope it doesn't rain too much. Be prepared for rain and um, I look forward to it. Let me know if you have any questions. My email is range at uidaho.edu. Thanks.